Okay, Shalom, my kid, my there. First and foremost, I'm gonna say Brak to Yahweh, Brak to Shai. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignor ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, that's the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly, ignorantly called Jesus Christ. The bonds of the apostles, the great millstone, and peace and mercy to election out there. Uh, the brother's holding it down. Um, beaten into mental strength. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, what I mean by that title is the fact that I've come to learn, and I'm, I'm still learning, I'm feeling it right now as I speak, is that our mind, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, is dealing with us and bringing us mentally in tip top shape. Mentally. You notice that through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you constantly going through all type of everything you're going through a, all type of everything and what and what is happening to you is that you're mentally becoming stronger and stronger and stronger to the point of to the point of numb to this world now when you jump into the scriptures it tell you that um uh keep your heart diligently because out of it come the issues of life. All right? The Heavenly Father needs all his the election, the 144,000. He needs the 144,000, the one-third of the nation of Israel, but more importantly, the 144,000 to be mentally tough. Mentally tough. So that's the reason why on a constant basis, we're always going through something. We're always faced with, well, you're always faced with something. Whether it be um, you're actually dealing with uh, uh, um, a scenario as far as you and another person, or it's just you mentally dealing with yourself, man. You know? And a lot of times, just be, just being, being speaking, just speaking as being a brother, trying to make salvation. A lot of times, you're going to be mentally drained. Just mentally drained. You know, as if you just, as if you just, you know, you just worked out. And after you worked out, you, you had to freaking run a mile you know, just, you're going to be mentally drained, you know? But that's what y'all watch me outside need from you. Now, the brother, the brother Zion in the camp, man, he had a, he had a, um, he had a screensaver on his phone that said, every day is an upgrade. And the scripture that it had next to it was 1 Corinthians 4 and 16, I believe. When it says, uh, you, uh, we are renewed day by day. Though our, though our, it says something around the words, though our flesh get weak, our mind is renewed day by day. So that's what, that's what you're going through in your mind. And trying to keep yourself balanced. This shit, hey, bro, this is tough. <laughs> Man, man, the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai trying to keep it in the wicked world with all oppo uh, opposing forces against you, that is tough. That's why Ezra, when you read, in, when you read uh, Ezra 13, uh, no, it's not yet. Ezra is the second chapter when Yahweh Shai was crying in the men. He's putting crowns on the head of the, the elect men. He said, I started to commend them. He started to commend these men. Because Ezra seen that the he seen how the them men was gonna be dragged through the dirt, through the mud for the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know? And that's what's going on. You can drug through the mud mentally for your strengthening of your mind. 
How are you going? If you look, check it out. If you cannot make it through, um, if you cannot make it through this little part that we're dealing with now, this little going to work from nine to five, you know, if you may have a family, a woman, um, whatever the case is, whatever you're dealing with right now, as of right now, if you can't deal with it now, how do you think you're going to be able to deal when there's no food out here, no electricity, when you can't just get up and go to your, uh, to go get, uh, things against life, like go to the grocery store, go get clothing. How are you going to survive if you cannot, if you, how are you going to survive then if you, can, um, if you can't survive now? That's why the most high, Yahweh Shai, is allowing all that, all this stuff to, to make you mentally strong. <coughs> You know, that's why we getting drugged up and down in the mud, man. But it's all to our benefit. Because the scriptures say the way that a man should be saved in those times. It tells you the way a man should be saved in those times. And it's plain and clear. Isaiah 33 and 6. It says that knowledge, wisdom to be the stability of your times. And you ain't getting no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding without going through nothing. You're going to have some stripes under your belt, man. You know? You're going to have some understanding given to you from Dylan now. So the mental game, the, the mental battle... It's needful. It's needful. It's it's painful. It hurts. It's not fun. But our results, the results. I mean, when you get the results, like you know, you, you know, you, you if you when you get the results, you gonna be thankful. You are gonna be thankful. You are gonna praise Yah by Shemel Shai with a whole heart. You gonna. You gonna you gonna thank the Lord that you stuck in there, man. You stuck in there. You become weak and faint-hearted. The scriptures say, "Woe unto those who have lost patience." In Sirach the second chapter, a nigga that just gave up. You know, you give up, you're weak. Bruce Lee will tell you that. Bruce Lee will tell you, "Look, man, pray not." For easy life, but pray that you could be able to endure a hard one. And it's all for it's only for a season right now. You know? It's only for a season. Scriptures even call it a light affliction. We should know at the end of this ordeal, we should figure out how light our affliction really was, man. We're gonna be like, damn. Watch when things pop off when it's a day like never before. Then we're going to understand. Then Jake going to be wanting to run back to this society we need now. Weak-minded Jake. They're going to be like, man, fuck. I'd rather... Fuck that. I'd rather be at work, man. Because it's going to get... It's going to get super tough. You know? It's going to get hella tough out here, man. Then Jake gonna wanna go back to society. Nah, but somebody who's mentally strong, he's ready to bring it on, man. That's what he's, you know, he's gonna be ready to bring it on. And, and ready to and ready to see it, to witness if the Heavenly Father's with him or not, man. Don't you wanna test? Not even not so much as test, but don't you wanna see all your your practice? What you, the things you practice it for? Don't you want to see the actual skill that you've gained? And that's if the Heavenly Father is with you or not, man. As soon as I pull up, man, I got a scripture, man. As soon as I pull up and, uh, and, slow, and stop this, this weak-ass chariot, you know? Don't you want to see if y'all about Shemel Shah is with you, man? 
And that, that that's the mental game that's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Man, I just want to know if the Lord, you know, am I, am I, am I worthy or not? You will find out, but the Lord's going first. He got, he got a number of tests that he got for us, man. He got a shitload of tests right now to mentally build us up. You know? The beating to mental strength. You know? Let me grab this real quick, man. Up in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 5. It says, If thou hast run with the footmen, and they have wearied thee. Let me read that over. If thou hast run with the footmen, and they have wearied thee, then how canest thou contend with horses? You got Jake. You What you're dealing with right now, amongst Jake, amongst our people, who want to work, if they if they have wearied you, how are you gonna be able to contend with horses? You know when you go into the scriptures, it says that a, 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 a horse represents power. How are you gonna be able to contend when Esau bring this shit, man? If you can't if you can't deal now, it says if thou hast run with footmen, and they have wearied thee, then how canest thou contend with horses? And if in the land of peace wherein thou trustest, they weary thee, then how, can, how wilt thou do in the swelling of Jordan? If you, if you have, you are, you amongst your everyday life dealing with Jake and they weary you, how are you going to be able to contend with horses, man? You know? How are you going to be able to do that, man? You ain't. How you gonna be able to deal when y'all about Shemuel Shai allow this damn devil to go all go all out? You gotta be mentally strong, and that's why y'all about Shemuel Shai is building us mentally. You know, so continue to endure mentally. You know, so with that, man, I'm gonna close it out. Say, Brakatay Hawa, Brakatay Shai. I hope whoever, whatever brother out there, just needed to hear that. Keep your mental strength going. Ba Shem Harakakwadash Shalom.